so we are back on it. Got a bunch of shit done. Um, so for one, anything on this that we couldn't convert to AN, we did the right thing and converted to the hose clamp AN. So we got that done. The reservoir has it. Fuel line has it. The fuel line in the back is converted to AN. Got the fuel pressure regulator situated. We're also using S14KA distributors, so it's not going to be with a big ass coil sitting off to the side, so it's gonna look really nice. Still gotta modify the S13 engine harness to work with that though, it's not a big deal. Got the intercooler mounted up completely right there, those two bolts. Uh, got the blow off valve welded in. Um, the idle air control valve is now inside as well as being dash 10. Um, another thing we're doing is making a custom power steering kit. I already got the high pressure hose coming. Well, it's already installed. What's coming is the, um, what's it called? The reservoir, I'm gonna be mounting it right here. It's gonna be all dash 10. It's gonna be so nice. Um, so right now, since we got all that situated, got plugs in, new SR20, the BKR7E plugs are in, got new NGK wires, new rotor. That's a, actually a brand new S14 distributor. I didn't actually say that, but um, got OEM mounts for the radiator coming to get that mounted up. What else, what else? Uh, just a bunch of little things. Oh yeah, the um, underneath there, there's a PCV line that we have converted to dash 10 for the catch can system as well. Still gotta make the catch can mounting bracket, but that's not a big deal. So for now, what we're going to do is this, check it out. We are gonna be installing our new CAN bus chassis harness. So this car is gonna be the premier actually, because we always have used the traditional relay box and a switch panel. Everyone has been asking for CAN bus for a long time. Finally figured out how to do it without breaking the bank like all the other people do, selling an entire chassis harness for like four grand. So like I said, the CAN bus panel is going to be controlling the ECU power, fuel pump, still getting the fuel pump um, button, fan one, fan two, as well as two accessories on there. It's gonna have radio, full chassis harness, going to the front and rear, brand new everything. Gonna have a micro tuck battery, uh, everything. This chassis harness is super cool. It's also utilizing a main relay so that the main box is protected. Any extra amperage gets pulled from the main relay. It's all Tevzel 2 M22759. So this entire car is getting the best of the best that we can possibly give to it. So I'm very excited about that. For one, anybody asking, this is a three piece harness. So basically this one will sit underneath the dashboard. That 12 pin connects to harness B. Uh, where is the 12 pin? Oh, right there. So that connects to that 12 pin. And then this section right here sits above the steering column, right? And then this is harness C. This routes to the front and the rear of the car. So let's get that installed. So this right here will be sitting in this section and then it branches out like a Y. So it goes to the rear coming down here and then goes to the front out there. So let's get that done. And then also there is this ground right here that gets grounded to the chassis. So that's for all the fans and everything like that. So let's get that done. All right, so it is in, it's now grounded. So then you route the rest coming through here. I usually put it underneath here and then we'll tie into the rear harness. So you see this four pin connector it comes with the opposite end for the rear lights or the running lights, the turn signals and the brake. So I'll be taking this off and um, connecting it to the rear. And that's pretty much it for that section. And then now you'll come over here. I like to tuck this up over here. And then it comes with the left turn signal with headlight and ground, right turn signal with headlight and ground. And then here's the fans. So it comes with all the connectors you need in order for this to be made plug and play. So all you would do is just cut the opposite ends of your headlights, pin them to the specific numbers. So this is fans, so you know, blacks are grounds, these two are reds, and you just pin it to your connector. And that's pretty much it. It's very, very simple. So, as I said, it gets routed from up there. Above here, I usually keep it on top of the metal so that the wheels, when it's low, it doesn't hit. Here's the left headlight with the turn signal and everything you need. Here's the fans. They go sitting directly right here so that you could wire in your fans easily and utilize it off the panel. And then we route the other headlight over here in the headlight section 
so that it keeps the entire car tucked so you don't have your OEM fuse boxes or none of that ugly shit anymore so your builds actually come out really nice at the end of the day you know every build looks great with the engine in the car bare but once you get in that original chassis harness it looks like shit so getting that situated right now pretty much done with this at least and then again like i said your oem headlight turn signal switch can be used so all you would do is how we chopped right here we're going to take out all the wires this is the only piece we need we will adapt it so it connects just right there and then you're pretty much ready to go and then same thing with the brake switch here's the brake switch one boom boom connect it with the connectors we gave to you and then everything is pretty much completely functional oem you don't have the switch panel connect controlling your lights and all that stupid shit you still retain oem functions and then you could still utilize your oem window harness you see how this is the oem s13 window harness you would just undo these put a deutsch connector and then connect it to the section that we have and everything works perfectly all right and we have the keyless ignition already wired up to the ignition section and if you don't want to ever use keyless ignition all you do is cut off your oem ignition and then uh wire it so we already got brake switch situated right now as you can see got the headlight turn signal switch situated so again this is the oem one all you do is adapt it to our deutsch connectors and every pin has a number on it and on our website it shows the actual coordination to all the numbers so headlight turn signal switch headlight turn signal switch just come over here I'm trying to do this with one hand boom okay simple as that you come over here here's the brake switch plug it into here and then brake switch right here Let's see if i could do this one with one hand and then come right there ah come on boom brake switch so this section is basically wired up now just gotta do the rest oh yeah that is how the pdm mounts and then there is the switch panel right there nice and simple all right so right now we are relocating the engine harness tucking everything i'm also going to be wiring in the s14 distributor from scratch repairing and changing a bunch of connectors putting new ones on oh my god this thing is going to be such a nice car when it's done very hard to part with but We've put so much time and damn money into this thing. We just want this perfect for the buyer. Wait till the whole car is done and the chassis harness is complete. It's gonna be so damn cool. Whew, she's coming out so damn nice. So we ordered new headlights for the car as well. Obviously we're gonna get it all painted and everything, but just damn, this thing's coming along so damn nicely. So we got the kit on um obviously there are some gaps we're gonna have the body shop do their magic but damn this shit looks good I don't care what anybody says wait till this thing is done no one has a kat done like this literally nobody has a kat done like this oh uh, yeah so we came home to the tires the wheels so let's go get those mounted on whoo this thing's looking so good um so as you can tell i have a bunch of fiberglass shit we have to fill unfortunately and yes it is already mounted up the way it should be it's all level we actually even have iron brackets underneath holding the front up we got everything pretty much level but the fender is what the issue is i guess when they made the mold they didn't do too good of a job um so we're gonna have all that fixed but other than that this thing's looking so good i love this damn car so another cool thing we just finished up is the power steering um, reservoir relocation. So we actually made this kit. So it goes directly to the pump, sits over there, comes right here tucked, and then that one goes back to the rack. And then the high pressure hose, I got the fitting so we can make that too. This thing is so proper, I swear. Like for being a KA, this thing looks right. This is how you should do a KA. Everyone learn from this. Also got the 326 wing on the back. Yes, it's real 326, as I've said multiple times. Um, so yeah, new tires, new rims, new pads, new calipers. Those calipers are rebuilt actually. Uh, power steering, relocation. We already did the engine harness on it. Chassis harness is pretty much ran. Everything is already wired up. And again, there's so much done to this car. You guys have no idea. Like, there's so much shit we have had to do. Oh yeah, we got the new headlights on too. Still have to, I have the um, plastics too that go for the headlights. Just gotta get those painted with the car though. I want them to all match. Sorry that the everything's kind of dusty in there, but 
yeah i really love this thing that's pretty much it for this video but other than that that's pretty much it stay tuned for the next one guys